Are you ready to make this great card with me? Grab your supplies and let's get it put together. For today's card, I am using the Timeless Tropical stamp set. I'm using the hibiscus, this plumeria, I think is what they call it, and the leaf. And then I'm also using the coordinating dies to cut them out from the In the Tropics dies. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is we need a scrap paper of green and you're going to stamp your leaf four times on here. Okay, we're going to set that aside because we'll cut it out in a bit. Then you're going to take your magenta madness or a hot pink color and a piece of yellow and you're going to take the hibiscus stamp and you're going to ink it up and stamp it on your yellow. We'll set that aside so it's ready to cut out. And then we're going to use a yellow and it's the only way I know how to do the plumerias because the ones in Hawaii have a yellow center. And we're going to stamp that on here. So we've got all of our images stamped. Time to cut them out. Okay, all of our pieces are cut out. You need, um, the next thing you need is a piece of white that is five and a Oh, that's four inches by five and a fourth. Then you need um, your pattern paper and your pieces to match. Okay, what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that matches your, your um, pattern paper that's one inch, and this is about four and a half inches. It doesn't need to go all the way down because you're hiding it under there. Your pattern paper needs to be 7 eighths of an inch. And again, I didn't go all the way down because it's going to be hidden. And then for your piece that goes horizontal, it's 1 inch by like 3 and a half. And then this one is 7 eighths by about 3 and a half. So we've got to put these pieces together first. So let's do that. And you can use your adhesive of choice. I'm using, ah, uh, not that one. It's empty. I go through so much adhesive. Do you guys do the same thing? Oh my gosh. All right, let me put this on and I'm gonna put it even with the top. I'm not too worried. Oops, I wanna flip it around. I wanted that pink to be on the outside. So I'm putting it down like so. And then this one doesn't really matter how I do this because I can flip this. This one is the same length as that one. There. All right, now this piece is going to go here, and it's about a half an inch in. So take your long piece and add some adhesive. And then, let me see, I'm going to this down so I can use my grid to help line it up straight. Grid is always good for that reason. There we go. And then this one is going to go on. Okay. Got that now. Let me put this one on. And I want it even. It's about maybe a little more than a half inch from the bottom. So I'm going to put it on like so. And so now we've created that angle. And all we have to do now is to layer on our flowers. So I'm going to take a, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the flowers last. I'm going to do my sentiment. And I chose a very simple hello because I just thought this was such a fun card that it just needed a fun sentiment. All right, and then there we go. And it's still crooked. I haven't mastered this one yet. Do you ever have um, images like that? Okay, 
And now my card base is the green that I chose to go with everything. So I'm gonna get it set up. And I'm gonna put this on here. like the glue because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room till it grabs that I can put it down. All right, now I can add my flowers. All right, I'm going to start with one leaf and I'm going to put it a glue dot on the front. All right, be careful when you pull that off. The glue dots have a tendency to stick to the glue dot and the paper will rip off. All right, so I'm gonna put another one and it's gonna go on my other flower, like so. All right, I'm gonna put this flower on next and it's going to use um, pop dots, foam tape, dimensionals, whatever you wanna call them, something to get them to stand up, so to speak. I'm just adding them around the outside and then I'll add one in the center and then I'm gonna pull in my good old pokey tool take the backs off I love my pokey tool for that reason it saves my fingernails Okay, all right, now this is gonna go down like this and I've gotta make sure I cover this corner so I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna adjust it so that it's covered. And watch if your hibiscus has that little stem that comes out, I don't know what you call it, pistol, stamen, whatever. Make sure that that's going the direction you want. This I'm gonna put on flat. So I'm gonna put it on with some glue and I'm gonna stick it up under there like so. And this one is the same way. And I'm kind of changing the angle a little so that we see more of the pattern paper. All right, and this one goes underneath uh, right about there. So I did change it up some. Now, I have two leaves left, so I'm gonna put a glue dot on one, and I'm going to stick it under there like so, and then one more. All right, and that leaf is gonna go there like so. I know all the leaves are in one direction, I probably could have switched that one around, but I didn't. And then to finish it off, we need some bling. So let's add some bling. Have you signed up for my newsletter? Don't miss out on my ideas. I share lots of tips and tricks with my subscribers and they hear about all the details first. And now, because you don't want to end it there. Do the inside and the envelope. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll know about when you'll know first when I upload a video. If you have some crafty friends, let them know about me. Have a great day.